ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is James Spann. You clicked onto the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday afternoon, the 28th day of October. And despite a sunny sky, it's downright cold out there for this time of the year. Many spots are failing to reach 50 today. Let's go right to our SkyCam network. We'll begin with a look at uh, downtown Birmingham coming from the top of the Daniel Building on 20th Street downtown. Needless to say, a case of severe clear today. And again, at uh, 2 o'clock, that uh, thermometer up there was showing 49 degrees. Normally, we would be up in the low 70s this time of the year. Here's a look at our uh, Huntsville SkyCam up in the Tennessee Valley. That is traffic on Memorial Parkway. <clears throat> Pretty much the same deal. Temperatures up there only in the 40s. And from Gadsden, the SkyCam overlooking the city. And uh, we note that up on the Lookout Mountain there, they got 47 degrees at 2 o'clock. Pretty amazing for this time of the year. And that's really an amazing trough that covers the eastern U.S. That is the delivery mechanism for this anomalously cold air. And look at the temperatures at uh, 2 o'clock. You've got readings in the 40s down into Alabama, Georgia. Even had some snowflakes down into parts of the Carolinas and uh, the mountains of eastern Tennessee this morning. And around the Great Lakes, readings only in the 30s. And uh, you can bet tonight will be cold. We're talking a good chance for a freeze over much of Alabama with the uh, valleys going back in the 20s once again. And widespread frost is likely this time because the wind will be light. And obviously... Rain not a part of our forecast for a while. That's valid through uh, uh, 7 o'clock Sunday morning. So here's a look at the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow at 500 millibars. That vortex continues over eastern Canada. Uh, down below that, a cold morning. Uh, we should begin to warm up a little bit tomorrow afternoon as the thickness values are a bit higher. Uh, we should be close to 60 after a sub-freezing start Thursday. Really the same deal. I'm telling you, Thursday morning is going to be cold, and the colder valleys should see another freeze while most spots are in the mid-30s. And then by Thursday afternoon, we should be close to 70. And Friday, a beautiful day, sunny with low 70s likely. The weekend looks fine, same deal. Chilly in the morning, daytime highs between 70 and 75. And Sunday, very much identical weather. A, a little reinforcing nudge of cooler air tries to slip in from the north, but... It might be a deal where the change is not all that noticeable. And Monday of next week, the weather still looks dry. We'll go to Tuesday. Uh, this run takes that shortwave energy well to the north. And by Wednesday of next week, uh, a trough carves out off to the west. And all of the rain with that is still west of here. Two days later, on the 7th of November, finally the long wave trough comes through, and that looks wet. And we have seen a couple of runs now suggesting that will be our next decent chance of rain, either November 7th or November 8th. So uh, keep that in mind if you're planning uh, something around that time. And at the end of the forecast on the 13th of November, again, a very high amplitude pattern with a trough not too far away, and that looks very wet. And, yeah, we see that potential for snow back in Oklahoma City and Dallas-Fort Worth. You just get the idea. This might be one of those winter seasons to remember. I, nobody knows for sure, but it's sure starting off very interesting, no doubt about that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. That's alabamawx.com if you're watching us on YouTube or iTunes. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless. weather.